Public Auditor Doris Flores Brooks has found, quote, potential fraud and misuse with DPW's heavy equipment management. However, the director of DPW is taking issue with these allegations, saying they were nothing more than honest mistakes. Pretty harsh. Um, I think there's some good that we can pull out of it, but I think they kind of went a little too far. DPW Director Glenn Leon Guerrero is referring to a report from the Office of Public Accountability that cites potential fraud and misuse at DPW. This potential fraud and misuse includes things like unconfirmed allegations that DPW heavy equipment and parts were used for personal purposes. Although the OPA could not prove this, their findings do show, quote, significant internal control lapses, end quote. For example, DPW management did not conduct physical inventories, reconcile purchase reports, and ensure proper authorization for repair orders and parts. DOA's inventory report did not include 3.1 million equipment, and DPW's inventory report did not include 1.1 million in equipment. The thing that we're guilty of, and, and the auditors, right, and all audits are, are like that and they're consistent, is if you don't document it, then it didn't happen. There are numerous things that the OPA said went undocumented, like $459,000 in unreconciled heavy equipment purchases. In addition, the OPA found that the DPW director accepted free heavy equipment rental services from a DPW employee's company because DPW periodically did not have adequate heavy equipment. The OPA says the director took specific action to clear allegations against this employee by by requesting the governor to accept the contribution pursuant to a section of Guam law that he cited. The OPA has referred this matter to the Attorney General. But in this case, this guy who has a private business does not bid against bid for government contracts. He actually um, uh, works for the government. He doesn't ask you anything in return. So. Absolutely not. The OPA also found $160,000 in unnecessary heavy equipment rentals to compensate for a missing low boy and $28,000 in rentals for heavy equipment that was already available to DPW. Leon Guerrero says that they rented equipment because the equipment they do own was being used on other projects. The OPA conducted physical inspections of DPW's heavy equipment inventory in which they found that equipment could not be located. Some were improperly cannibalized for parts. Eight units, including some federally funded equipment, were found parked in private residences. True. And, and the reason for that, uh, Clint, is this. We have projects that are throughout the island. Leon Guerrero says the equipment was merely being staged at private residences that were near construction sites in order to be more efficient. Uh, now we're working on, on uh, a pneumatic, and we're doing a major project in pneumatic. So we're now going to take the assets we used to keep it down around that Yamatic area. Now we're going to take it to the, the the bus satellite stations. Would be would be the closest one would be Jotnia or Agate. The OPA also found that 25 units had expired registrations. They found unusual repair orders for idle, non-working heavy equipment. For example, there were two purchase orders for two transmission and two oil coolers for the same dump truck that has been idle since 2014. From my heart of hearts. Um, there's no malice in the way DPW does work and does business. We're, we're happy to say if there's some, some, some re areas that we need to improve. I know I don't walk on water. I'm looking, and, and that's why in the past it's been my philosophy to embrace audits and, and management, report, manage, management uh, reviews. Leon Guerrero says that he will be making changes to the way DPW does business in light of this audit, but he emphasizes again that any of the mistakes found in the audit were not done with any malice.